Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here with your sneak peek for this week. How are you? I hope you're well. Happy Monday to you. This is being recorded on a Monday, and uh, you might see it just after midnight. I'm getting to it a little late tonight, but uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all of those who have booked with me. Um, thank you for all of those of you who um, communicate with me in the comments and who give me the thumbs up on the videos. I do appreciate you helping me build this community this way, and that shows me that you are interested in building this community too, and I love that. So, um, if it's your first time clicking here, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for very much for clicking here. And what I do is I read from Aries to Pisces. Now, I've marked everything out down in the description there, and that's going to translate to you just scrolling the video. <coughs> Pardon me, to find what you need, depending on your sun, moon, and rising sign. So please, please, please just stop watching tarot for your... Um, for just your sun sign. If you're just not getting all the information you need, please go look on the internet for a free natal chart. You can Google everything on that natal chart if, you're un uh, if you do don't understand what sun, moon, and rising means, right? All right, so here we go. We're going from Aries to Pisces. And um, thank you so much for um, all that you do for me. That's mainly what I wanted to say. Aries, we are going to start with you, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for this week, Aries. Some Aries energy, please. Aries, if you're interested in a private read, until the 31st, there is a sale. Getting down to the last few days here. Till midnight on the 31st, you can book and get 15% off of any of my private reads. Over at Wizio, everything you need is down by the yellow dot in the description. <coughs> so sorry. Spring is on the way. My, my allergies have alerted me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about the sneak peek for this week for Aries, please. Aries energy, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Aries. Aries. All right. There you go. Ten of Cups, my friend. Right on the table. Top of your mind, anyway. That's what you're thinking about this week, I believe. You are thinking about your happiness, the apex of your happiness. Yeah. You're walking toward an Ace of Cups, I just want you to know. That's what the, that's what's in the fountain is the Ace of Cups, and there are four cups on one side and five on the other. So it feels as though oh, you're making strides. You went from being in the four cups to being kind of you know bored, like feeling like you're in a redundant energy of emotion, like you just didn't know what to do with it, kind of bored with it. And then you move over here o across the way to the five. And the five is is kind of looking over all of it, right? Feeling a little bit sad that things didn't work out the way that you wanted to. But what I want to say that the five of cups is lined up right there. And maybe even though it didn't work out the way you wanted to, here comes the ace. That's what I think. I feel like you're, you're headed toward the ace of cups here. All right. Tell me more about Aries this week, please. Aries. All right. Something has changed. There's been a, a grand ending. Like, I feel like it's it's a monumental ending. It's either a, a thought pattern or a way of doing something. It feels like it's it, it was something that was you were trying to grasp at for a long time is this this closing of this major chapter here and i think it's it's sending you into happiness here is what i think so the 10 of, of cups is what's on the mind um and it feels as though there is some type of of um large ending a successful circle has closed or completed it feels and it's it's bringing you a lot of happiness however it might uh, be not everything that you want right now because the Ten of Cups is the everything, right? It's everything that makes you happy. It's family and friends and children and, and all of that stuff. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So it feels like Aries, it's like you're, you don't really want to be single anymore. That, you know, it doesn't mean you have to give up your power, um, but it feels like you, you're kind of, you've got all of the material wealth that you need. And I think that you that you don't really want to be single anymore. I think that you're thinking about um, family and happiness and making a big move toward that, it looks like. A 
We've got the uh, Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. We've got two sixes. It feels like you're, whatever you're moving forward to is going to give you reciprocity. It's going to be, if I feel like you close the chapter, this large, this world card, um, which by the way is all the fixed signs, and those fixed signs are Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus. And uh, so we we are closing this door and never going back because those are all fixed signs. Once once the fixed signs make make a decision to do something, whether it's grand or whether it's small, you can bet your bottom dollar it's been thought out a thousand times, right? Strategic. We, we move at it slow as, as fixed signs. I say we because I'm a Taurus sun. If you're a fixed sign, let me know below. But if it's it's really hard for us to change our mind and close chapters and open new ones. It's, it's super painful because... I feel it's because of the Six of Pentacles, because it's all about reciprocity for you. You like to have someone else in your environment that that you um, work with. I think that you're a family person, that you like to have family, or you like to live with somebody, or and some people are like that, right? They like to be with people all the time. Just listening. For some of you, um, there's a message here saying that you're going to have some sort of a financial recovery. Like I don't think you, I don't think that this nine of wands is um, in the reverse because of an impact. I feel like the six of swords tells me that the with the nine of pentacles that there's going to be some sort of a financial recovery here. So either you're beginning to recover financially from something. Um, or it feels like there is somebody here who has a lot of opportunities or options to to pick from when it comes to things of the heart or the heart space or emotional things. And it can be overwhelming sometimes to make those decisions. But I think you're going to because the Six of, of Swords is pointing in towards the Seven of Cups. I think you're willing to look at it and make a decision. Um, I think you're making an emotional decision of sorts. Um, it could be about a relationship. It doesn't have to be, but the Six of Pentacles does indicate that there is some sort of reciprocity going on with possibly, and not always, but possibly more than one person. This just slid out of the deck and slid over here. So it looks as though either you're not telling anybody or you're just keeping silent about it. It feels like you're about to make an emotional decision. And... Um, you are listening to your gut, and that's why you're able to, to move toward this emotional decision. I think that's why the Six of Swords is here. I see the Six of Swords as, you know, it's it's like now you can pass, go, and collect your 200. You've learned the lessons. Take those with you. Those swords, I believe, are lessons that, that allow, propel you forward. All right, so you are choosing the soulmate, I think. I feel like you're choosing um, someone who maybe you're building a friendship with um, or someone you already have a connection with, like a friendship connection, but someone that you know that you know their history, you know their background, maybe their family already. Um, maybe you grew up with this person, but it feels like um, you're remaining silent about your pick right now uh, of who you're going to pick in terms of romance. It's the person that you've been manifesting. It's interesting that it's coming up like that, Aries, because I'm not getting details here. All I can give you is that this, the Six of Cups and the High the high Priestess and the Seven of Cups, I'm not really being given any details about this person, which really tells me that you're probably quite psychic. You might have, um, <laughs> yeah, you might have Scorpio or Pisces. Cancer is very psychic as well. You might have water in the chart, but this is the card of Pisces. It almost feels like you won't let me read it. It's weird. Somebody is is not wanting me to read it. it, like not giving me any details for some reason here. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, and it feels like that there may have been some type of disappointment or something between you and another person. Um, they could be Scorpio, don't have to be. We also have... Um, we we'll also have Aries energy right here in the Magician. So I feel like you are trying to... Um, to materialize something here. You want something to move this week. It feels like you want you want to transform some sort of disappointing or heartbreaking energy. You've been manifesting a soulmate and you've not been telling anyone who you're going to pick in so much that you've not given me any details about who you're going to pick. Interesting. Somebody is making an important decision that is related to something that is going to change their life. We saw the world card. 
It could be someone who's at a distance from you. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Right. Got into that read. I got so comfortable. I thought we were just in the Aries read. Here we go, Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, I'm rising. Venus and Jupiter. Hello, my bull gang. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here today. I appreciate you. And we are in the sneak peek for this week. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, you have um, until the 31st at midnight to book and get your 15% off over at Wizio. Everything you need is around the yellow dot down in the description if you want to book a private read. All right, here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for the week. Come on, bull gang. Taurus energy. Taurus energy. It's coming up this week for Taurus, please. Ooh. Okay. I just got in my head, Charlie said a lot of happiness, and then this flipped up, and it's the Five of Pentacles, so that's really very interesting. There you are. Okay, it is about you. So we've got the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Strength card. Happiness, there it is. There's your wish fulfillment. Got the Death card and the Knight of Wands. You're about to get some stability. But it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird because we've got the five of pentacles at the crown of the reed. The top of your mind is disconnection. So it feels as though you're trying to find the courage to um, not be afraid of the nine of cups. That's what it feels like. It feels like there's fear or disconnect or um, is this really like you're questioning it, it feels Taurus that that a manifestation has come in for you and you're questioning it and I think that's why the five of pentacles is here it's feeling in lack or no that's not for me and no I'm not worth that but look right next door here yeah it's the nine of cups so I think that that somebody is over here trying to get their courage up trying to get the courage up to to face this five these five pentacles but I really think that it could be that you're because you're doing that, getting the courage to face the five pentacles, that's how you transform this energy, Taurus. That's how you transform the energy. And now the Knight of Wands, um, you know, I feel like the Knight of Wands and the and the Death card together here is telling me that it's like the end of um, impulsivity or the end of things being really, um, really unstable. Like it's the end of your instability is what I want to say. I feel like wish fulfillment is here. It's the end of your instability. I feel like that you've decided that you're going to turn your back to the instability and say, no, anyone who brings instability into my life can't, 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 I won't let you do that. I won't let you rock my world like that. But listen, sometimes we need to make a choice to allow people to come into our life when we want to, because like you can feel whatever type of way you want to feel about the Knight of Wands, but this Knight of Wands is bringing transformation. And happiness, like on the wings of, of this Knight of Wands who's been doing giving you all the instable energy, is your happiness. It's right there. Yeah. Taurus. Wow. We, you, we could be talking about someone who is um, Scorpio or Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. And if we can slow it down and we can get some stability, then we can start to work on it. We can build on it. I really feel that this uh, this Knight of Wands, um, I feel the intentions are good. I, I don't feel bad intentions, but I do feel that this person does, does want some type of stability. And I think that you are the type of stability that they're looking for. Someone... Someone who will uh, make them want to work for it. Make them, you know, make them feel like they're really working towards something. A substance. Yeah. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oops. Oh. Do you know what? I'm pretty sure that the High Priestess came up in the same spot in the Aries that I just did. So you might want to scroll back if you go there if you haven't looked at it yet for any of you dealing with Aries possibly. Um, but this is Piscean energy. So what I feel is going on here right now is that there is, you're sort of in the midst of flux and change is what I want to say. That 
you decided that you're going to have courage and speak to the universe about, hey, I don't like being on the outside of things looking in. I want my happiness. I feel like you're, you're way more powerful a manifester than you realize. And um, it looks like there is some type of conversation coming up with you in the Knight of Wands. Um, whoever this person is, no matter their sign, no matter if they're feminine or masculine, um, that's it's sort of impulsive and instability and moving really quickly and passionately. And, um, and so I feel like there is going to be some sort of a conversation. It feels like there's communication coming here with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords wants to talk. We could be talking about someone who is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but then the Emperor shows up and we know it's all of it, right? So it could be all of the kings. Yeah. So, um, we have the Queen of Swords. It feels like somebody who was previously silent is going to be speaking up. It might be the Emperor. Some of you, um, the universe is what's talking to you and you're seeing fours. You're seeing a lot of fours. You're seeing fours and twos. In You're seeing 24, 424, 442. You're seeing fours and twos together. I feel like the Emperor wants to talk. I feel like this person comes in like the Knight of Wands and you don't know it, but they are an emperor. Or you you have put your back to the fact that this person is an emperor. You may have judged the Knight of Wands already. You don't notice that they're the emperor because you've judged them as the Knight of Wands. Maybe they're just coming in for the passion or they're giving, you know, they're, they're not really giving you stable energy. Maybe they're moving quickly or trying to move quickly here. It feels like the emperor is... Um, doesn't really know how you feel or isn't clear on your feelings for them. Uh, it feels like they are coming in for clarity because the Page of Cups is in the reverse and they're not sure of your feelings. They're not even sure of their own feelings. So they, they're they going to, I feel, um, have some sort of communication with you. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Instead of being silent, we're going to talk about it because you have fear. I have fear. It looks like we're we're not really sure. I think that the two of, of uh, the page of cups in the reverse belongs to everybody here. <laughs> like it belongs to it belongs to both of you. Your energies. It feels like between the emperor and dropping burdens is this. Yeah, it's the um, the page of cups in reverse. To me, it's uh, when I see page of cups in reverse, it's it's like unrequited love, or I'm not really sure how I feel, or you know, I I don't want to spring this on you, but like it feels like somebody wants to um, to have a conversation this week with you, uh, somebody who I think that you were sort of having sort of uh, disconnected moments with. I think this person wants to wants to really connect with you. Yeah, so enjoy that. Yeah. All right, Taurus. Thank you so much. Here we go, Gemini. This is you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How are you, Gemini? Hope you're well. Thank you for logging in here for the sneak peek, whether you are Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, or you're a cross-watcher. You're always welcome, welcome. Just watch responsibly. All right. Gemini, if you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Yep, yeah, you know the drill. Say it every week. Go ahead into the description. So if you're new, you can go into the description, look for the yellow dot, and uh, there's a sale on 15% off all my private reads. Go ahead and take a look over at Lizio. All right, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's talk about Gemini this week. Sneak peek for this week for Gemini. Gemini. We've got temperance, Gemini. On the top of your mind is balance and positivity, it feels like. And I think it's because of some sort of downloads that you're getting, possibly from your angel team. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there is a song, isn't there? Um, Charlie's giving me a song. Um, it's, I think it is called Team, actually. I think the song is called Team, and I feel like it's by the same person that sings, oh, it's Lord, L-O-R-D-E. I think it's called Team, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's about, yeah. Yeah, I think there's something, there might be something there for you. Nonetheless, I feel like I'm I'm connecting with someone here, Gemini. This is your angel team, and I feel like they are the ones that are bringing you the downloads that you need about what's coming up this week. So I feel like it's it's kind of like by the mid midweek, you realize something. 
you have a download or you wake up to a realization of some sort that the Ace of Pentacles is here, that your happiness has arrived. We've got the Eight of Wands and we've got <laughs> the, the uh, King of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have the Star. So it, it feels like this week, Gemini, that there is an angel team that's been putting together something really beautiful for you. We've got four uh, pentacles here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So we've got teamship, team, teamwork uh, with, you know, with angels and guides, I feel, bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. It feels as though this is something like midweek that it's a realization that whatever stage you're in or whatever flux you're in right now is... Um, is temporary because there's something that is far happier coming for you. It's going to start with some type of communication. We've got the Eight of Wands and then we've got the, the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is looking into the past. So this could be someone that you have dealt with before. It doesn't have to be. The King of Swords is Aquarius, but also in a general reading, um, Libra and Gemini. So uh, just represents air signs. So it feels as though there's going to be some type of communication either coming toward you or you're going to speak to someone from the past, um, or someone who you've known for a long time. And it feels as though, um, Gemini, that it's going to be via communication. So whatever communication you, you're used to using most, whatever means of communication, it feels like somebody wants to speak with you, uh, be very honest with you, Four of Pentacles, someone who's been holding on to you or you've been holding on to them. The Knight of Swords is here. The Four of Pentacles is also be not being very vulnerable. It's being really closed off. Um, but it's also like holding, it's holding everything in or back too as well. So I feel like I feel like there is some sort of um, message that needs to come in, but it, it feels like the King of Swords has been holding back. I don't know if the King of Swords is you or somebody else, but the King of Swords has been holding back um, with the communication. Communicating with the Queen of Pentacles, who is Capricorn, but in this reading is also Taurus and Virgo. So um, it feels like there is some sort of communication either that you're not expecting because it feels like it's coming up behind you if this is you if you are at identifying as the king of swords i see this person is highly intelligent you probably are someone who is like a judge a magistrate a psychologist a psychiatrist like this highly highly smart person um, who's very cerebral and kind of stubborn because we've got a fixed sign here in Aquarius. So it feels like the Four of Pentacles also feels a little stuck for me. It feels like Taurus energy. It feels like you, um, that you have been either facing away from or not wanting to communicate with somebody. And this person I feel is going to reach out to you now because you've got your back to the whole thing. It feels like uh, communication might be coming in from the Queen of Pentacles for some of you. And um, it's going to be healing communication. And we have the moon, but you didn't see it coming. So I feel, yeah, that there's something coming up. It's either someone that you know from the past. Oh, let's look at the bottom of the deck. We've got um, the devil and the four of wands. So somebody is really afraid of commitment or afraid of getting into anything um, that's too, too deep. Uh, they'll usually stay surface. It's kind of toxic, yes, but this person's full of fear and anxiety. They feel uh, like they're like it would be submission for them to have to do that. And um, I don't know if this is your energy or theirs, but it's future energy. So if we're talking about being an indecision, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> being an indecision, right? Being, a, being scared of um, some sort of stability. This person sits in the Nine of Wands because, um, because they are uh, afraid to come out from behind the fear wall. They've been hurt a lot, though. Like, it's not like they do it just because... You know, it's like it's a it's a, a knee jerk reaction for them. Yeah. And they're scared to come out. But it feels like it's it's stuck in indecision here. But it does feel like that there is if you don't reach out to someone with communication here um, about this brand new start here, I think there's like I said, I think you're getting downloads and your angels are putting all this stuff together here. That's what it feels like to me today. And um, if you don't go to the past to talk to this person, I feel like they sneak up on you and you don't see it coming. 
This person's going to find you. I'm telling you, whatever's meant for you, Gemini will never pass you by. It's the absolute truth. I wouldn't lie to you. All right. Cancer. Cancer, this is for you. Cancer, I'm sorry I didn't get to your, um, your reading for the week ahead last week, so I'm just going to throw out a couple of readings for you this week. The regular old Cancer with the cancer reading that is uh, with the Piscean reading that comes out, uh, but I'll also do just uh, a quick cancer reading. Um, sorry, I didn't get to that. Ran out of time and energy, if I'm being honest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cancer, thank you for clicking here, by the way. If you're interested in a private read, then you just go ahead and look in the description. You'll find the yellow dot. 15% uh, off until the 31st of uh, March. All right, here we go. This is how they came out. All right, got the Six of Cups, looking at the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. What? Cancer, look at that. It feels as though something, um, something, uh, I feel like it's a mindset has come to an end. I think you've, you've decided that you're no longer going to terrorize yourself with woulda, shoulda, coulda, um, I wish that, or living in the past, or wishing you could have changed things. I think that this is a big, a big step for you and a big deal, the Ten of Swords. It feels as though you're finally in acceptance that there are people out there who are going to stab you in the back. It's like the acceptance of, I need to let this go. Yeah. And I think that when you make the decision to let it go, because I think that a lot of your hurt has come through relationships, whether those are, you know, personal relationships with brothers and sisters, parents, or um, whether that's relationships with uh, best friends. It feels like people that you've known for a really long time. I feel like that when this happens, the Ten of Swords, when you decide to close the cycle and go from the Ten of Swords feeling badly that you've been deceived and hurt and all these terrible things that were said to you, instead of playing that over and over again, when this is done, you get to go to the Ace. You get to have new conversations, get great clarity. You know, you get to make you get to make your own topic, you know, your own subject matter. I feel like it ends up working the way that it should, but understand you needed this lesson in order to be able to feel what's coming up. So you had to be able to let go of the old hurt before you could experience what's coming in, which I think for you this week is brand new. That's what it looks like, Cancer. Somebody um, possibly that feels like you've known them forever when you meet them, or maybe you have known them forever. This could be someone that you've known for a while. And the Six of Cups is duality like that, right? It is it is about a long-term relationship and nostalgia, first and foremost. And that could be between two people in love or two people who who have a, a just a, a relationship, whether that be kin or whatever it is. All right. Tell me more for cancer, please. Sneak peek for the sweep. Okay. So, you know, that ending, the one that was so hard that it was so hard to change your mind and have the acceptance, I think you do that. The Six of Wands is victory after, um, after a hard time. It's victory after the war, right? Coming home from the war, from the fight. So I feel like you do, in fact, leave it behind and set out for your victory. You're looking for home. It feels like you're looking for possibly a soulmate. I think that you are about to meet one. There you are, holding the cup. I love it. Yeah, the king holds that one cup, right? And so we have two cups here. You're going to fall in love. Yeah, I feel like you are about to meet somebody, whether you know it or not, somebody who you're about to fall in love with. I don't know that it's an instant thing. I feel like it may be something that's grown over time. If for those of you who think you know this person already, it might be something that's grown over time, but also it might just feel like this person is your person like very quickly or immediately. The magician, you've manifested this person. You've manifested this. It feels as though um, one of your manifestations was probably to become more in control of your uh, emotions. And the King of Cups shows up, right? It feels now that you have have victory in mastering your emotions, because really that's the King. The King is stoic on the surface, as Scorpio is, and the King of Cups is Scorpio, but also Cancer and Pisces in a general reading. But the um, the the King of Cups uh, has learned to control their emotions, right? They have the poker face; they're the stoic, and um, I feel like. 
um, that this person, uh, you, Cancer, has, um, you have uh, mastered your emotions or you have realized your emotions and that you are in control at all times. It is about you and what you want. It's your manifestations. You're in control of you. <laughs> That's the truth, right? Tell me about the magician, please. Some of you could be um, um, manifesting love, it looks like, and stability, four of wands. So it looks like you will, you have manifested this, this victory over your, your emotions and being openly emotional because that's who the king of cups is, right? Although stoic, very emotional and very in control of that and, and, and okay with it, owning it, right? We have the ace of pentacles in the reverse. So you're manifesting. It feels like you, you've gotten control of you. You're manifesting love and stability. And uh, it feels as though um, you're manifesting love and stability, but I don't know that you're ready to even invest in that yet. Or um, maybe you're just not finding that yet. It hasn't worked itself out for you yet. But I think you are looking to, it's like you're, you're looking around as to where you want to invest next, I think. Page of Pentacles in the reverse could also be a financial impact or maybe you're waiting on money. You could be uh, waiting on the finances before you decide to find anything serious or get serious with anyone because of the Four of Wands and that's the home, right? So you might want to buy a home or want to be able to have enough money to be able to get everyone into one home should the other person have family because um, this is about family, right? The Four of Wands is the whole family. Um, I feel as though you're doing your research here and I don't, I feel as though you, you are wanting to maybe talk about that, um, or at least revisit that in the mind for sure. Uh, I think you want to talk to somebody about maybe financial things that could be tough. And the, um, the high priestess in the reverse is, is the one who's revealing secrets. So we're going to be being really honest with each other about financial things, about what I really see the, the Ace of Pentacles when it comes up, whether it's in the reverse or in the upright, it's always the future, right? Because you plant that, that pentacle and it brings, it brings abundance. And it looks like it goes from the Ace really quickly to the 10. So we know that this that's being revealed here is actually a good thing because it brings abundance. So there's going to be some sort of person revealed to you. The Ace of Cups is going to be revealed to you this week, my friend. And you are going to act accordingly, I believe. And I'm just going to say, when that person shows up, please know that they're probably, they feel like you've known them forever because this is how it's supposed to go. It's your destiny. Yeah, here comes your person. Right. Well, okay then. Let's take a look here. Woo, Leo, this is you. Wow, <laughs> what was that? Leo. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Holy smokes. All right, Leo. Here we go. Coming in with a wreck by a wrecking ball for sure. What's going on this week for you, Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo, if you want a private read, if you need to know what that was all about, <laughs> um, please go to the description. You'll find the yellow dot, and uh, there is a, a code there you'll need for 15% off until the 31st. All right, here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sneak peek for this week for Leo, please. Jeez, these cards are really... Why am I just like speeding up all of a sudden? What's going on? All right. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's like, whoa. Yeah. I like, I felt that energy. Like the Knight of Swords is like, I gotta go, I gotta go. Whew. Relax, Leo. I know you gotta go. We've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. It feels like you are revving your engine or like, like a motorcycle. That's what it feels like. That's what this was feeling like when I was trying to shuffle. It was like, hurry up, put the cards on the table. So we've got the Empress. We've got Taurus and Libra here. We've got the High Priestess and um, the High Priestess is um, 
Pisces. Just listening. So what's on your mind is moving. you got to go. And I feel as though the Empress is involved here. So whether you are the Empress or this is your Empress, uh, it feels like there are some things that need to be revealed or that we're not talking about. But I feel like you want to talk about them because the Knight of Swords is in the reverse. I just think you're not seeing them right now. Um, and those are two different things, right? got the Two of Cups that's in the reverse, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles. In the upright, we've got the World card. Okay, so we've got the uh, the Well. Oh, I like it. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's, it's specific to this deck, which I don't remember the name of, but I'm sure you could find it on the internet somewhere. Um, the, um, the Well card is something that is changing based on a deeper look or a closer look at something. It's a welcome change. It's something that you've been thinking deeply about and it's been, um, it feels like it, it's, it's a decision that needs to be made in the future here. We've got the Ten of Wands in the reverse. It feels like you're about to drop a really big burden, Leo, because the sun is here. I feel like you're about to really drop some sort of a huge burden that you have been carrying around for a long time and it almost feels like a bit of martyrdom I'm going to say it's almost like you feel like you deserve like you should be carrying around these burdens I want to say that that's that's not what I'm seeing here the sun is you I love that like the sun is you and you bring that energy wherever you go and it feels like you don't realize your own potential sometimes and how much beautiful lovely energy that you can bring to a room even when you're not saying a word, it's just your radiated energy, Leo. So I feel like you've been thinking about something really deeply, some, some type of burden that you want to drop. I feel like it comes really quickly, the dropping of the burden, because the sun is here, and then we have the three of cups. There's a celebration after. So I feel like the... I feel like that, that you are unsure about your connection with the Empress, is what I want to say, or you could be the Empress. Um, the... Um, the Two of Cups in the reverse tells me that uh, I don't think it's love and I'm not really sure what type of connection it is. Like you can, you know that it's not love, but you're unsure of the connection because this connection feels like, it feels like the beginning of something. Um, the world card is here, which is the ending. It's, it's some sort of a large change in your life. Um, a very big change. It's like it's like selling a house, or um, um, it could be uh, the splitting up of like it could be divorce, or or um, could be marriage. Like it's something. There is some sort of a chapter that is closing. It's like you've reached you've reached this uh, this goal, this success here. So now you can you can close that chapter and put away the book and just get a brand new book and start writing again. It's like it's the new beginning here and it there is a, um, a queen of pentacles here. We've now got the lovers. We've got the four of cups and we've got the two uh, of pentacles. So I feel as though that there is a juggling of emotions here. And I feel like where the juggling comes from, we've got the Four of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like where the juggling comes in is that I think someone is offering you a cup or that you are offering someone else or are ready to, but you're juggling so many things. It looks like with the Two of Pentacles is about the juggling. You're juggling so many emotional things and you do see that this cup is being offered to you, but you're not really sure if you can take it. The thing is, is that it is attached to this lover's card. Um, the four of cups is attached to the lover's card. So I feel like whatever emotional a be new beginning you're being offered here or, or something that's going to pull you out of your boredom, I feel like this is supposed to, this, this is the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, this lover here, this is someone who's sent to you by the universe. So you've chosen this person probably from other choices. And uh, the Four of Cups is this person is probably offering you the cup. It is your soulmate or the one you feel the most connected to that is the one uh, that is offering the cup. Um, but I feel as though you you are not really taking the cup because you're too busy juggling everything. I think your life is very busy. 
and it's material things like it's it's things like in your everyday life that are keeping you super busy we have the page of swords here so maybe sometimes you you are uh, communicating from a distance maybe you're just doing a lot of texting or emailing or um I feel like there's a lot of, uh, there could be a lot of distance here, but we're trying to keep in touch verbally as best we can. Uh, but there's a lot of juggling going on here. And the six of pentacles, but I really want to give, give this person reciprocity. So I feel like, I feel like you really want to give somebody reciprocity and you want to talk to them, but you're at a distance. And because you're juggling, there's not a whole lot of time to spend together. The lovers here tells me that you, um, that you are, uh, considering this cup that's being offered to you by the lover here, uh, it might be you or them that's gone through this this change, this very big change in love, possibly a divorce. The world card and the two of cups could mean that there's no longer a, a steady relationship or something that, you know, I'm no longer in love with anybody anymore. Um, it feels as though um, this world card here, um, this is Scorpio. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Yeah, so it's you. It's you that's closing the chapter on something here. There is this Queen of Pentacles though, right? This person is someone who is mimicking the Empress. So you might see this person as your equal. Or you might, see, I'm just going to tell you, like, this is the Empress, this is the Empress. She's the Empress in training, right? And so whether you're feminine or masculine, please, you know, don't even look at the faces on the cards. They're both women. But I mean, they could be both women, right? We could be talking about same-sex relationship, but we're not talking about sex. We're not talking about bodies or body parts. We're talking about energies. And these, both of these people have masculine and feminine energy. So pick your side. Um, I feel like that there's two people that uh, are mirroring each other. We've got two empresses here, no matter what your gender is. I feel like something has ended for one of them and someone's had a realization that they see now see this person who is exactly like them. It feels like a twin. Yeah, I see someone who's exactly like me, but I'm not saying anything just yet. <laughs> not saying anything just yet because I really feel like right now there's just too much going on. There's too much juggling. There's too much uh, going on in your life for you to be able to say anything. So I think you're just going to reserve it. I think you're just going to be quiet about it for now. All right, Virgo, there we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Virgo, how are you? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, my timer just went for, went to 4222. 4222, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, Virgo. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, please look below by the yellow dot. 15% off until the 31st. You'll need the code. All right, here we go, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you're having a great week so far. Hope Monday wasn't mean to you. Tell me about Virgo. So on the top of the mind is the Empress. This could be you or this could be your person. The Empress is Taurus and Libra, but um, also has uh, all the lessons of all the queens. So it uh, could be just about any sign, really. Tell me more, Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more, Virgo. World card, interesting. And the Queen of Cups. This is the Wandering Moon Tarot, and the cups are moons. The pentacles are stars. Okay. So, more cards, Charlie says. Let me take a look. So I think that there is a chapter coming to a close. So I don't know if you are the Empress or um, if this is your Empress, but there is a chapter coming to a close, I feel, um, but you're in two minds about it. I don't know that you're really happy that the chapter is closing. Um, it feels as though you you know that you need to close the gate or the 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 world. You know you need to close this circle right? You need, you need to let things come full circle and shut the door on whatever was in the past. It feels like, um, it feels like a, a decision was made, a final decision is being made. And it was probably made by someone else, but I also feel like you're still hanging on to the decision. Ten of Swords is in the reverse, like you won't let it go. Yeah, you're up in your head about it. You won't let it go. Um, we have the Queen of 
the Queen of Moons. Now, the Queen, the Queen of Cups is a mother. So is the Empress. Could be someone who you have a, either who is motherly to you or someone who um, is your mother, mother or there is an age gap between you and somebody else. But this, to me, is presenting as a motherly energy almost. And that it feels as though you are... You're overthinking. It feels like this empress is maybe someone who is a significant love type person in your life, but this is your mother. And it almost feels like they're they're together or they know each other or one acts like the other. Like maybe you are, um, your empress maybe acts like your mother or um, that's what it feels like to me. Hang on a second here. All right, so got the star, got the wheel of fortune, the page of pentacles, the justice card, and the ace of wands. For some of you, um, I feel as though you're up in your head about feelings, like about how you feel about the empress or how the empress might feel about you. The ten of swords in the reverse is telling me that you're you're holding off on almost like the inevitable disconnection and that you're up in your head about it. It feels like since you've, since you've closed this chapter, just makes no sense to me, by the way, <laughs> it makes no sense as I say it, but I'm trying to read the cards. Like it says here that the world card is here, that there may have been an ending here, but you're still not out of it, right? You still think about it obsessively. You still think about that ending. You might still be in love with somebody or you may not be speaking to your mother and it's time for you to reconnect with your mother. The inevitability is stop getting, get out of your head, close this, you know, get, it feels like there's been a hard, a hard time between you and the queen of moons or the queen of cups. It feels like inevitably something must come to an end and you need to let it go. But as long as you don't, you're just going to be overthinking it. So it feels like there needs to be some healing here for sure that you're losing hope. And just as you start losing hope that this isn't going to work out, because it feels like you needed to close a chapter back there, but somebody here is not happy that you did, or you're not happy that you did. The Page of Pentacles tells me that this week is, is time for everything to come together in one divine happiness for you. The, the Wheel of Fortune is here saying that um, there is some fortunate change that's coming here. The Page of Pentacles is telling me that something is about to be brand new or open again or is going to materialize for you and is going to give you a lot of balance. I think it has to do with the Ace of Wands. It might be what you've been overthinking, the Ace of Wands, because it feels like you go from the Eight of Swords to the Justice card having balance. There's Libra energy here. There's also, yeah, we already talked about the Fixed Signs, which is also the Wheel of Fortune. So there is going to be uh, in this week, I feel there, that just as you begin to lose hope about something that you felt like you could, couldn't let go of, it feels like the Wheel of Fortune comes through and makes really great change and allows you to begin again with a little more stability in what you're going to be passionate about. Um, yeah, that other mother message is going to be for some of you. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you so much, Virgo. All right. Keep moving here. Libra, this is you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra, thank you for coming to the reading. Thanks for clicking here. If you're a cross watcher, you're always welcome. This reading is for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It is your sneak peek for this week, Libra. Sneak peek for this week, Libra. Libra, if you're interested, there is a, a sale going on, 15% off my readings. Until the 31st, everything you need is by the yellow dot in the description, including the code you'll need. All right. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, your sneak peek for this week, Libra. Libra. Libra, we have the Seven of Cups top of mind. Oh, a tower. My goodness. Okay. You are trying to make a decision in love, I believe, in happiness. What's going to make me happy? What is going to make me happy? And I think that is that's what you're wondering here. The Seven of Cups is like you have a lot of opportunities or options. And it feels as though the tower comes because you're not making any decisions. The Seven of Cups is feeling overwhelmed. I've got too many 
too many options to go over. I'm not, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I want the happiness, but I'm feeling overwhelmed. I also think that you're factoring into things from the past. And so I think that's sort of uh, stopping you from making a decision because you're feeling nervous about the things that you feel like you lost out on in the past. You don't want to make the same mistakes about love. Two of Cups is right there. And the Hierophant. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Got the Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, and uh, the Hierophant. So it feels like somebody here wants the new start, um, but is... Uh, going it doesn't want to it doesn't want this to end the way it ended in the past you want to go into a new cycle I feel the ten of cups is here you want to offer someone the ace of cups and I think you want to move on but you know what I think that you don't make the the decision quick enough and I think that the tower comes to make sure that you get back on your path I think you're here sitting at the seven of cups trying to make a decision about what you're going to do feeling overly emotional feeling overwhelmed, having to make a decision about something very important that has to do with your abundance. The Ten of Cups is here. So the tower falls. You have to go. You have to make the decision to go. So the tower makes it more uncomfortable for you to stay where you are right now than it is to where you have to go. And the Two Cups comes back out. So it is definitely about love. Nine Cups, in fact, because seven and two is nine. So you know that you're staring your wish fulfillment in the face. We go from the 9 to the 10 pretty quick. But I think you got to go via the tower. Just saying. Libra, I think that you've been holding off your blessings. Because on the other side of that tower is healing. After, card, after the card number 16 comes 17, which is the star. All right. So um, what do we have in the bottom here? We've got justice. There you are. Right there. Coming up for Libra. The Seven of Wands. Standing your ground. Standing your ground after receiving a message from the Queen of Wands, who is um, someone who is Aries Sagittarius or Leo. All right. So I feel as though um, your wish fulfillment is on the way. And I feel like you weren't making a decision. I feel like you were waiting to make a decision about the lovers. This is the Eight of Wands. You're, you've been holding back telling someone how you really feel about them. I feel like you are going to speak to someone about how you really feel about them. It also feels like the Ten of Coins being in the reverse is telling me that either you don't know if you can financially support this union or you're feeling like you don't have enough abundance, you're feeling not enough, or you're feeling like possibly this maybe shouldn't be a long-term relationship. I think you're going to talk to this person about a long-term relationship because I really think that you think someone here is your soulmate. I think that you're choosing this person because you really feel as though they feel like a soulmate. I think the realization or the aha moment that you have is that you do have a soulmate and this person is probably that person. We are talking about the Empress, quite likely. And the Empress, uh, you could be the Empress or this is your Empress. And uh, she is Taurus and Libra. Yeah, very grounded, very rounded, very well-rounded. Balanced. I think that you believe that um, the Empress is your soulmate. I feel like there were uh, complications, hard words, or harsh, harsh words, some argumentative words, possibly. Maybe you said some things you weren't proud of. Maybe they did. Queen of Wands, there she is. Right? She was in the distance, remember? Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, I just wanted to look at this tower here. So it looks like here um, this week that um, it has to do with somebody that you've known for a long time or a soulmate energy that you're feeling. Uh, but I feel as though this Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, um, you may have a choice between two. So for some of you who are looking at this as two separate people, the Queen of Wands and the Empress, uh, the Queen of Wands, um, and I feel like these, these could be two energies for some of you because only because the lovers is present. Um, 
it feels like you're going to talk to both people. I think you're trying to decide who to choose. Who are you, who makes you more passionate about you in your life, right? Who gives you the most love? Who gives you the most affection? The Queen of Cups. Um, okay, so we've got an Empress and an Empress in training is what we're looking at. Somebody who is the Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups, but is not the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Swords. This Empress here is the one that has it all. So I see where your dilemma is now. Okay. So why does the Tower come for you then, Libra? Queen of Cups um, is also a mother. This person could have a child. Tell me about the Tower, please. I think it's just the realization that you actually realize you, you do have a soulmate here. Queen's coming out again. Queen of Cups. She is the one you're passionate about. I say she because there's a feminine on the card, but it could be feminine or masculine energy. We have the Three of Wands. So you, the tower falls and you realize your ships have come in, that the Queen of Cups, um, that that there is somebody here who is who is your person. Yeah, you're going to go, you've, it feels like you, you want this, um, you feel like the world is in your hands. You want to talk to this person. You want to go back to the crossroads, take the other path, go on the adventure, find out what's out there, right? And um, it feels like the, that when the tower falls, those are all the realizations that are here. I really got to stop watching and I got to start talking. And if I really want this thing, I think that you, if you really want this thing, you got to stop stalking and start talking um, because the Empress isn't, you know, has a lot of offers. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like you really do want uh, the Two of Cups with this person. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Okay, so it's a communication. I think I think what's going on here is that that you um, are probably having you have a very busy life in which you juggle a lot, um, <clears throat> but it also could be that you are. Um, just starting to rebuild, rebuild your life, rebuild your financial life. And I'm only saying that because the 10 of uh, pentacles is in the reverse. And then we have the sun. It's a good conversation, I feel. Um, it just, you need to decide which one you are going to be with. Now, this one, the one who is not, who's who's the empress in training, that one is highly cerebral. This one is someone who matches you in wits and, 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 um, how smart this person is. That's what attracts them to you to them. And then we have the Empress and the Empress is coming up as the partnership. So you already know this person and you've already built a little bit with them. So this is Aquarius and uh, we've got, well, Earth energy. This is, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is Aquarius energy and uh, Virgo, but Virgo, um, Taurus or Capricorn. All right. All right. So I think you're going to have a choice this week. I think you're going to make a choice between a couple of people. And uh, because the lovers is here, you get to make a choice in love. That is your gift from the universe. All right, Scorpio. Here we go. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for this week, Scorpio. You know what? Having said that, I'm just going to go grab something to drink. Hang on a sec. Right back. And through the magic of recording, right? Okay. Scorpio, you always slow me down and remind me to drink my water. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, here we go. Your sneak peek for this week, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Scorpio. What's coming up for Scorpio this week, please? The Four of Wands. Why is that? You got Four of Wands on the mind. Yep, top of the mind. I'm your reading here. Four of Wands. Tell me why the Four of Wands. We've got the Six of Wands that has come out in the reverse. I'm sorry, not in the reverse, but came out on its side, which could be a challenge. It could be a challenge to have victory in this Four of Wands here for you. I think that we're talking about family or getting together with someone that you want stability with. And I feel like you feel that's a victory, but I think that there are some things that need to be worked out first because the, the six and the four of wands equals ten, and we got to drop some burdens first. That's the magician. We're trying to transmute this energy here. Manifestation, trying to trying to bring spirit into it, I feel. 
feel that you're trying to drop some some pretty hefty burdens here before you get into anything too serious. Three of Wands. I'm waiting a long time for this, right? Your ships are starting to come in and you see that, I think, Scorpio. I think that um, that you are you've been really steadfast, really um, progressing within the self. Um, you become courageous. I feel like that you have become strong and it feels like you have become like a really courageous, strong manifester is what I want to say. And now that it's all here, I think that you're really, you're really looking at how you can, I want to say, I'm watching somebody tighten a really big bow on a, on a gift. So you want to tighten it all up, I think, and put it in one box like a gift. Um, Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Okay. You're you do you are trying to manifest something here, and I do believe it's like this four of wands. So I think it's like stability in a relationship with a family, everyone under one roof. I feel like that's your victory. If you could get that, that's your victory. I feel like you've you feel like this that you're deserving of this victory because you've come through a lot. The six of wands is victory after the fight. So you've come through a lot in the past. It feels like the three of wands is here and your ships are coming in. And, and you're like, when are my ships coming in? But they're here. But the reason I don't think that you see that the ships are here is because of the strength card. I think that you're too busy trying to manifest, manifest, manifest. And this is something that comes up in reading sometimes that I do. It's that make sure that you're not overlooking your manifestation because it could show up in a box with a different colored bow. That's what I'm saying. Because we just went on that package from a red bow to a blue bow. And, oh, it's red, white, and blue, by the way. The box is white. <laughs> so I could be talking about someone in the U.S. or someone who's in the military, possibly. Um, but, um, yeah, it feels like the um, the Two of Pentacles is here to say, uh, I feel like I'm, I, I don't feel like I have what I need. but Because I think it's your back is to the Three of Wands. I think you don't see your ships coming in. You don't recognize it because it doesn't look like what you thought it would look like. The Hierophant, the Emperor, the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, and the Four of Pentacles. thought I'd just go on that. That's interesting. I've got the Devil Energy here with the World. Oh, really scared to close a chapter. All right, Scorpio. It feels like you juggle. Yeah, and I think it's a juggling of the mind, to be honest. I feel as though you want to be courageous and you're really trying hard to manifest the things that you want, but I think you need to turn around. Yeah, turn around and make sure that you're not missing what's behind you there because this person could be walking up behind you. Uh, we've got the Hierophant and the Emperor. Uh, Taurus and Aries, um, by the way, so you could be dealing in Taurus or Aries energy, but we could also be talking about maybe you're juggling commitments right now because you are the emperor. Um, and I think we, we had this in probably last week's sneak peek where you did show up at the emperor. I think you did. It could have been another one, but, um, uh, the emperor here is, is showing up and I feel like you're, you're juggling a lot of commitments and you're looking at kind of maybe, um, this week walking away from the things that really don't serve you, because I think there's a lot of things here that are keeping you from your happiness. The ultimate happiness, which I think for you right now, is to be really courageous in this Four of Wands. It feels like um, that you have a lot on your plate, that you're looking at sort of trimming the fat, you know, cutting out things that really don't mean that much to you. But I think you go into hermit mode first and you don't make any quick moves. And I think that's really smart. I think you're you're using your gut and manifesting your way through the week. Uh, but I feel as though this week is the week that you start, um, you start walking away from some commitments or ending some commitments uh, because I feel as though there's just too much here that you're juggling. Yeah, that there's too much and it's it's all kind of standing in the way of your happiness. It's blocking you. We've got the Four of Pentacles, which means you're not really sharing, right? You're you're closed down, not very vulnerable. You're in the hermit energy. I'm in self-preservation mode because I got to make these decisions about who I'm cutting next or who I'm walking away from next. And the magician, I think, is is helping you pull it all together, but it's going to take some time. I think this week is the week that you decide 
um, that you will be, which, which commitments here that you will be walking away from. Some of them could be big commitments, but some of them could be maybe not showing up to PTA because you'd rather spend more time with the kids or your spouse or the person that is the favorite person, right? Your cat, whatever. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. So in the future, I was saying here that we have the world card and the devil and now that makes more sense because it feels like you are going to have to make some cuts and walk away from some people in order to be able to stabilize your own life and i think that you're worrying uh that you have fear that you're going to close the wrong doors but i'm just going to say to you as long as you follow your intuition you've got major arcana here which means these changes are supposed to happen inevitably anyway um, you're going to be presented with all of this the ability to close a chapter and maybe cut these chains here we have the page of wands so it feels like that there is a, a new message coming from somebody could be an empress or maybe you're the empress um, but in the future it looks like there is some sort of communication coming in about somebody who has closed a major chapter in their life i don't know how you're going to feel about that though because we've got the five of wands present on the bottom of the deck as well and uh i'm not sure that's that's a bit of hesitation right all right sagittarius here we go this is you saggy it's you and me it is. I'm Sagittarius Rising. Thank you so much for clicking here. Thanks for uh, wanting to watch here. I hope you'll reach out and hit that thumbs up for me if you could. And uh, thank you for your attention on my last video that I put up. Uh, thanks so much for that. All right. Here we go, Sag. If you're interested in a private read, please know until the 31st, the 15% off sale is on. You'll see your code and the, um, and the link there if you want a book. 15% uh, off until the 31st of March. All right, here we go. Some moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's take a look here. Sagittarius. What's coming up for Snag? Sag I just about called you Snag. <laughs> like Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Snagittarius. <laughs> S-N-A-G-G. -G. Okay, here we go. Sagittarius. What do we got? We've got the Four of Wands. We've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the Three of Wands in reverse. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Star. Just listening. Feels like nightmares. Somebody's trying to heal. I feel like your sleep pattern's broken. You're dreaming about things that are making you sad. The Queen of Cups is in reverse, which tells me you're out of control of your emotions. Yeah, you're feeling overly emotional, or maybe you're having outbursts of emotion, and that tells me with the Nine of Swords next door, it tells me that those could be night terrors, or you're having bad dreams not being able to sleep and you're getting you're over it the four of cups you're you're stuck in this emotional it's like you you get emotionally frozen during this time you're starting to lose hope i feel that your ships are coming in and i think that the worry is actually bringing you to a to a place of you know waking up in the middle of the night crying or um waking up in the middle of the night feeling lonely it feels uh, like dismal like the, when the stars in the reverse it feels like disorder to me the star in reverse feels like there's no order in the in the universe anymore when the stars in the reverse it feels like we're not connecting with each other i don't have any deep connections and that bothers me my ships are not here i'm starting to lose hope that i'm ever going to find anybody to connect to emotionally it feels like you're healing right now yeah the four of swords is maybe you're not communicating with too many people feels like you're you're in a you're in a bit of a healing mode right now because it feels it almost feels like it went to despair and hopelessness that's what it felt like it's like you're tired of waiting for it three of wands in the reverse where are my ships when are they coming in i'm starting to lose hope all right sad tell me about the four of cups okay charlie said first question we're asking is about the queen of cups in the reverse <laughs> i only work here y'all <laughs> okay queen of cups in reverse tell me about that ah okay just listening 
You think someone's lying to you. Okay. So what I'm going to say, Sagittarius, is you know that you're psychic, right? You know that. Most of you are. The ones that are in touch with yourself and you know yourself as a Sagittarius, you know that you're a psychic sister or brother. The thing is, is that we have the Queen of Cups and we have you having nightmares. It almost feels as though that you might be having dreams that are disturbing about um, tragic things either to come or tragic things in the past. But I feel as though that you're, it feels like you feel that things are kind of out of control. It feels like this week you, you sort of feel like things are out of control. Like the tower, you get a tower and I feel like it's a tower that answers your intuition. And it feels as though you keep getting woken out of this sleep so you'll pay attention to the answer to a question you've been asking. I don't think you want to see it, Seven of Swords. I don't think you want to see it or feel it. And it feels like the tower had to knock you over just to let you understand what's going on here. You could have Pisces in your chart. We do have Scorpio energy here as well. We have Aquarius energy. We have Cancer, Pisces. Tell me about the tower, please. Power is the Knight of Pentacles, so it's something that you've been waiting for for a really long time. I think for some of you that there is somebody coming in with some sort of an opportunity that's been taking a long time. It felt like it think I think that for the longest time it, it it interrupted your sleep pattern. I think that what you were getting was premonitions. For those of you who are dreaming about this, I think that you're getting premonitions. I think you're psychic and you're dreaming about it because we have the Knight of Pentacles, but the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles is coming in because of the tower and the high priestess is here, which is the knowing It's the strong knowing you knew the tower was going to fall. And maybe that's why you're upset at night because you're dreaming and you know that this is coming. What is the knight of pentacles, please? Whatever it is, is it rocks you out of your socks because the four of cups is here. And with the knight of pentacles coming in and the tower being near, I feel like it pulls you out of some sort of a boredom. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Scattered thoughts. Somebody who um, was impulsive is, is no longer being impulsive, is waiting or holding back. Six of Cups, it's a soulmate. Two of Pentacles, this person is someone who um, juggles. You know what? I think <laughs> I expected that we would know what was coming up over here. I didn't expect it would go from here all the way around, but I guess we really needed to know why you're so unsettled here right now. It's because you don't believe that you know what you know. The tower falls and confirms everything that your intuition was telling you. Here comes the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands is here. It's almost like, <laughs> I just want to say that the Knight of Pentacles is coming in, but I want to say that the Knight of Wands is here standing between the Knight of Pentacles and the, and the soulmate. It feels like this person is someone who is trying to stop this from getting to you because I think they want you. I think we're talking about an earth sign and a fire sign. I think that, um, I think you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to be juggling two people pretty soon. Eight of Swords up in my head. I'm juggling these two people. And I don't know what to do about it. Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay. So it looks like um, after a long period of holding back or not talking or being up in the head, I feel as though it feels as though you didn't, the, the star is here saying that you were feeling like, you know, I don't want to wait anymore. Where's mine? Well, here it comes. See, but I think it comes around another way, a way that it almost feels like that that there is a fire sign and an earth sign here. The earth sign, it's like you, the earth sign was always traveling, but the fire sign is the one that's blocking everything or getting in the middle of stuff. Um, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing. I just think it's a thing. I think that there's two people here and somebody is, is throwing up a block, an energetic block, because they don't want the Knight of Pentacles to arrive to you. 
Um, it feels like right now there's sort of a connection that you could be in or maybe not that's kind of up in the air that you juggle a lot of things. The Eight of Swords tells me that nobody's making up their mind, but there's a lot of passion. The Six of Swords is we got to move on. We got to make a move. We got to talk about it. So I think that there is some sort of a conversation coming up, Sagittarius, that's coming to you um, about moving forward. Um, forward from our passion. So it's not that we're not going to be passionate. It's just that I think that we need to talk about where we're going from here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's the conversation? The um, the Eight of Wands is the Fool. Yeah, we're going to talk about the beginning. Are we going to have the beginning or not? Five of Cups. Because I'm sitting here in the Six of Swords wanting to move, but I don't want to leave you behind. I would be regretful if I had to leave you behind. And then the Knight of Swords, we move forward, Ten of Cups, there we go. And the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. Why? Because of temperance. So it feels like, um, yeah, we got to pool all of our money together in order to get into the Ten of Cups. Everybody under the same roof, everybody um, working together. The Queen of Swords is here with temperance. I feel like we start having maybe passive conversations or, you know, kind and very balanced conversations, but very clear and, and concise about what we're going to do while we're in the Ten of Cups. I think what we're trying to do here is avert a disaster. Like, like the, uh, why I say that is because the Five of Cups is here and it's next to the Fool. And I think that somebody doesn't want to start something that is going to make them sad or lonely or depressed. The Knight of Swords is we need to talk, right? And the Queen of Swords shows up as well. So we have to talk. But I think it's going to be a good conversation. I think it's going to be a conversation that's been needed for a long time. A long while between you and whoever I was just talking about. All right. All right, here we go. Capricorn. Here we go. This is your sneak peek for this week, Capricorn. Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. And if you're interested in a private read, please know that we have a sale on, or I have a sale on, we, me and Charlie, <laughs> we have a sale on until the 31st of March. Uh, you can go ahead and um, check in the, de the details are in the description by the yellow dot. All right. You need the code. Take it with you. Here we go, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn this week, please. Capricorn this week. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Capricorn this week. All right. This week, I do believe that you are going to be taking a closer look at or learning more about what went wrong. Mm -hmm. it, it feels like the Five of Cups is what is on the top of your mind, Capricorn. And that tells me that that possibly we were focused on the wrong thing. The Three of Cups, we're focused on what we're lost, what we've lost, or what we perceive as being a loss. And we're not we're not focused on happiness. The Two of Cups, right? Love, a companion, um, you know, having everything that you need emotionally. I feel like you're focused on the wrong thing. I feel like you have happiness around you, but you're focused on the negative, the loss. It might be because you're younger. It could be. I feel like you want to talk about that with I want you want to talk about that the sun is here I feel like you don't see yeah your back is to the happiness your back is to the sun we have Leo here so your back could be to a Leo um, but it feels as though you've turned away from the sun and so I feel like you're pointed towards all the things that you feel that you've lost Student is here. Tell me more about that. Student is the Page of Swords. Page of Cups. We could be dealing with children here for sure. It doesn't have to be, and if we're not dealing with children, it feels like it feels as though you've realized or have come to know or have gained the knowledge of something that has surprised you, but not in a good way. I think that's why you've turned away from the sun. Um, the page of cups is likely something that surprised you that you just figured out. Five and one is six. 
you found out that maybe there is a soulmate here or maybe oh, but this is sad energy though it's not a good surprise queen of cups see there's a mother and children here Or a father. Someone who's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Leo. One more card. Mm. There's the... Look, we got the whole family. King, Queen, Page. <laughs> we got the whole family. Okay. So I feel as though I'm speaking to a Capricorn who is, is having a rough go of it. I feel like there has been broken communication in the household or within the family or with between you and and a spouse or a partner or somebody that you're close with. Either you're dating them or living with them. It doesn't matter what your status is. I feel like um, it feels as though there is... Um, the Page of Cups is here to say that it, you found out some surprising news that I don't think you're happy about. It has to do with, it has to do with, I think that you were really vulnerable with someone and now you're feeling like you shouldn't have been this vulnerable with someone. just want to clarify here a little bit. It's the Five of Cups, please. What are we worried about? What are we sad about from the past? What do we find out? That something ended. We've got the justice card. We've got the um, the lovers and the death card. To me, it feels like there's some type of transformation that has happened here in a, a soulmate connection that has caused balance, but it feels it's it's like a sad truth. You've come to a sad truth here. But it gives you balance. At least you know. I think that's what, what it's saying here. At least you know. What's the sad truth? The sad truth that there is a partnership that I'm worried about. And I feel like it's, start, it's, it's the beginning of the end. The pentacles is the partnership, right? And the partnership for me is more of a business sort of partnership. It's it's more about, it's less about love and emotions and more about money and stuff and things. And it feels as like somebody here is worried that there is a relationship that's coming to an end or a partnership that they're having. I don't know if it's business partnership, but we've got the lovers here. So it feels to me like it is, it's justice and love and partnership that's transforming here. And it feels like it could be with someone who has a large age difference with you. Tell me what the sun is here for, please. Okay, so going into the future, I think that I think that things become fortunate, right? It feels like it, it does, you know, the future takes you into your happiness. Um, and it is going to be happiness and love, I feel. Um, this could be someone that you're connected to right now, or maybe you're not. Maybe this is a soulmate you've never met before. But it feels like right now you're in a, a situation where it almost feels like you have um, some regrets for being so honest here. I think you're ready to come up from behind the fear wall and live your life, though, and maybe admit to someone how you're actually feeling in this situation. Queen of Cups comes up again. We've got the Knight of Swords and Temperance. So I feel like you want to be kind about it. You want to say it kindly. Um, and it feels like this thing isn't moving anywhere. Yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck here. It feels like somebody feels stuck in a relationship that they think isn't moving. Like the 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 chariots here but the four of pentacles is here it's like i'm really stuck i'm not i'm not sharing anything i want to move forward quickly but i'm not sharing anything you're not sharing anything we're both holding on to something that is preventing us from moving moving this whole thing forward it feels like whoever is the queen of cups is the one that's been standing their ground um if that's you or them and we've got the page of swords again it feels like um, that you want a long-term relationship with this person, but it almost feels like they're avoiding the conversation. It's because the Page of Swords kept peeking out from here. I feel like they're avoiding the conversation, but you're standing your ground that either you go to try this again and take action, or I want to be single because I'm abundant enough on my own. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I think you give someone the um, ultimatum this week. Yep. Gaining power. 
taking charge of you. All right, here we go, Aquarius. This is your sneak peek for this week, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private read, you have until the 31st to book for your 15% off. After that, everything goes to regular prices on the 1st of April. 15% off. Look in the description around the yellow dot. You'll find everything you need there. All right. Aquarius. What's coming up for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for this week. Sneak peek for this week. All right. What do we got? Give me that and that. I'll take these back. Having strength after com coming through a hard time, possibly of... Um, disrupted sleep patterns, uh, some anxiety issues, maybe. I'm not a doctor, I can't diagnose you, but I do have that energy and I do know what it is. I know how it feels, anxiety, depression. Um, you could be wavering between the two, but mostly just um, worrying too much that you can't sleep. It's time to put it down. I think that you are going to because strength is here. Yeah. Leo energy. Oh, Okay, for those of you, maybe this is going to be something, it's not for all of you, but um, when I saw this card just now, when I said that, Leo Energy, I, I thought in my head and I heard, <laughs> y'all, this is going back a ways, <laughs> showing my age, it, I just heard the song sung by Pebbles and Bam Bam. <laughs> Pebbles and Bam Bam, let the sun shine in. Uh, it's, it's the Flintstones, you can go Google that, it's on, it's on YouTube, it is. Let the sun shine in. Those two babies were singing on the cartoons. Yeah. Let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin because frowners never lose. No, smilers never use, lose, and frowners never win. Okay. You got to be in a good mood. You got to will it. You need to have the victory here. You need to will yourself into the victory because look, the six of wands is all about having victory after defeat. Okay. Having, or not defeat, but having uh, victory after um, coming back from the war or coming back from the fight. So it's about um, overcoming insurmountable odds, right? And uh, getting victory in that and everybody watching you get victory in that. So I think that, I think that your days of having disrupted sleep patterns or being anxious or depressed or feeling sad or feeling alone, I think that um, those days are, are becoming fast in the rearview mirror here. I think that you're going to see less and less of those as you decide to gain your courage. This is a decision, though. I mean, it's always going to be offered to you as a major arcana card. You know, number eight is strength, and it is Leo. It's it's about being seen and being of service and being um, the leader uh, of your own life and deciding who you are being authentically you, uh, being seen, allowing people to see you exactly who you are. I feel like you are... Um, in the Six of Wands, going into the future because you have decided to have the victory. I don't think anybody gave it to you. That's why I don't believe in luck. This is hard work. There's no luck involved there. It's a lot of hard work. But I think you gain victory after, after courage here. After the courage that you have to be who you are authentically in front of everybody. That's what the Six of Wands is about. And the Empress could be talking about Taurus and Libra. Ten Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah. It feels like you do identify as someone who's been hurt a lot. I think that you are the Empress looking for your Ten of Pentacles, and I feel as though you're too scared to come out from behind the fear wall to get it. Because no risk, no reward. I'm just going to say, Aquarius, no risk, no reward. And that's the truth of it. If you decide you're not going to risk it, you're not going to get it. If, you tell the, if you're not going to risk it, you're going to tell the universe that it doesn't belong to me. I'm not ready for it yet. And the universe will put it back in line and wait for you to be ready and wait for you to be ready. It'll circle you until you decide to reach out and grab it. Yeah. So what I want to say is I feel as though that you have decided that you can be authentically yourself. You're going to be the empress, which means you're, if you don't know what that means, then <laughs> then you're probably not the empress. But I'm going to say that it's the queen of cups, the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, the queen of um, 
uh, the Queen of Swords. It's all of them, right? And if you don't know who they are, you could study them to find out if that is who you are. You need to have all four. And I feel like you have worked really hard to do that. And now you want to be seen as the Empress. I feel like it's going to attract your abundance. I think you just got to be confident and be okay to be seen as you are flaw flawed, right? Like the rest of us. I think it's going to come to you, but you know, you've got to get out of this nine of wands. You got to drop this stuff here. You've got to drop the burdens. And when you drop the burdens, when you change your mind, I know that's the hardest part because you're a fixed sign like me and I'm a Taurus, right? The hardest part is changing your mind and deciding to come out from behind the fear wall. And when you do, I do believe that your, your abundance finds you, but you have to make the decision because that's what's going to trigger the universe. Universe is watching and waiting, waiting, studying you, watching, waiting. Is she going to come up from behind or is he going to come up from behind the fear wall? I think you, you have everything that you need to be able to do it, but there's no point in sitting behind the fear wall as the empress. I'm just saying. <laughs> Page of Swords tells me that you're learning a lot of lessons and you're going to learn this one too. And it might not be today. You might call me. You might tell me. You're blowing smoke, Elsie. It's not happening. That's fine. Everything, not everything happens all at once. We've got the chariot. You are going to have victory and love though. Look at that. There is going to be victory and love in a long-term relationship here. I think that, that the universe is spying on you. I think conspiring with you. Making decisions about love, making decisions to start appreciating the things that you have and living in gratitude. The Five of Cups is really being focused on the things that you've lost. And I think what you think you've lost is a passionate path. I don't think that's it. I think that you um, want to um, sprint at the finish line. And I think the universe has just thrown you all of this to slow you down. Yeah, made you find your courage made you work this out, the Nine of Swords, because you can't be the Empress if you're living in the Nine of Swords, and that's the truth. And um, it feels like there is a lot of stuff that you had to learn before you could move forward and get the thing that you want. And understand, if you don't get what you asked for, it probably wasn't yours to begin with. Yeah. It's the truth. Could be dealing with cancer. Leo, Taurus, Libra. But there is going to be victory and love here. There is a decision being made. And I, you know what I believe the decision is, is? The decision is you have to stop looking at the things that you've lost. You need to stop focusing on the negative. Stop focusing on everything that's back there. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. I wished I could have. I wanted, uh, you know, I, I feel like I lost out on whatever. Look, there's a new passionate path coming up here. And you're not even focused on it because you're focused on everything you've lost. So I think there is needing to be a change of mind here, a change of mindset in order to put you on a different path. I'm telling you, it just happened to me today. Your mind will change like that if you keep at it persistently wanting to change it. The universe will help you with that. For sure. This is a week of big decision making for you about the self, about you. All right. Here we go, Pisces. Elsie here to do your reading for the sneak peek for this week. How are you, Pisces? My two fishes friends. I am two fishes in my moon sign. Literally have your energy. If you would like a private reading before the sale is gone, it sails on until the 31st of March. You get 15% off any of my readings. You have to take the link and the code over to Wissio. All right. What's going on? Too much is what's going on. You know what? There's too much here. I'm just going to throw it all back in here. Let the Lord sort it out. Here we go. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. We can have a do-over, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, also, I didn't get to your, your reading um, uh, for this week, so I didn't do that, and I'm going to be offering you an extra reading this week because of that. So you will get a couple of readings this week besides the sneak peek. All right, here we go. Sun, so moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's up for Pisces this week, please. Pisces this week. Tell me about Pisces this week, please. Oh, we've got a flipper. Six of pentacles in the reverse. Why is that? Oh, somebody has chosen to just give to you. Interesting.
interesting. Somebody who was previously sharing with another person, Pisces. Sharing with, like, they may have been seeing you and someone else. This could be someone who's dating, absolutely. But it, it feels like somebody who was... Uh, maybe giving you a little less than they were giving someone else. I think that there's been a change of heart here. So what I want to say is going to be, a, it's a surprising change of heart that this person I think wants to give most of their time to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it feels like somebody has got some big feelings for you, Pisces. The Page of Cups is here and staring at the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, which leads me to believe that somebody here is about to, um, to surprise you with um, I pick you kind of energy. Whether it's words or not, this person might not come to you in a dramatic fashion like Disney, like you think they might. <laughs> That's not what this is. This person, I feel like kind of subtly, because the Six of Pentacles is in the reverse, subtly lets you know that they're in the energy of the Two of Cups. And they might not, they won't say I love you. They probably are going to give you really subtle signs. I say subtle because the Page of Cups is here. And the Page of Cups is the one who doesn't really have all the details about emotions and how to show them how to bring those messages in, right? The challenge is your manifestation. Ha, huh. interesting. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. So it feels like it's something that you've been waiting a very long time for. It's going to surprise you. It is about emotions. And we have the, um, the magician here. It feels like you've been manifesting this. What I want to say, Pisces, is you've been manifesting someone to come at you with their emotions, to be honest with their emotions. And I think you're going to get it. I think they're going to surprise you with it. This person, I feel that um, that has been giving to another they're no longer doing that because the world card is here and it's touching the six of pentacles in the reverse it feels like something has closed permanently for for you or for your person and it's going to cause somebody to show you more affection um, more affection leading into the two of cups and i say leading there and affection leading to the two of cups because the world card is all fixed signs and fixed signs um, Pisces move incredibly slow, right? You could be dealing with someone who's Scorpio, um, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Taurus, and it feels like somebody's moving really, really inching really slowly towards the Two of Cups. It's the person that you've manifested. This person probably is, gives you spotty communication. Or maybe they were because the Six of Cups might have been in the upright. Maybe they were giving to another situation. I mean, this could be someone who's separated and has, you know, is, is juggling life and, and children, family. Uh, it feels like the Six of Pentacles is like I had to give to another situation, but I'm trying to get better balance with that. But we have um, the Knight of Pentacles that's been traveling for a while. And it feels like somebody who's single is looking for, yeah, they're looking for someone to say yes, or they're looking for happiness and temperance. They just want to be balanced. They want to be balanced in a partnership with someone who they can respect for their station because the Nine of Pentacles is standing in your own power, standing in your own shoes, right? Not needing the help of anyone. Somebody is looking for, um, looking at you as the choice, I feel, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This person is probably someone that you've been feeling a little disconnected from, but you see them as very brave. You see this person as that they've have having gone through a lot to get where they are right now. And I feel like you were disconnected from them for a while while they were out fighting their battles. The Six of Wands is victory after the fight. So it feels like while this person was out um was out fighting their battles, I feel like you may have been disconnected from them, but you were manifesting them all the time anyway. I feel like your manifestation comes in as this person decides that they are no longer going to be silent with you. The silence is going to be broken and someone is going to start showing you, if not telling you, how they feel. Um, I'm going to say showing you because these are all fixed signs and they're unlikely to, well, I mean, depending on the moon and the rising, but they're unlikely to, to blurt out their plan. They're going to go at it slowly first. I think it is um, a fixed sign that you feel is really brave. It could be Leo. This person want, doesn't have a lot to give you. 
but they want to give you something. This person is still really wounded. They're still limping, is what I want to say, after this world this world card, this, this lesson that they've learned, or this successful closing or looping of something. They're ready to begin again, I feel, because the world card is the end, and then we go to the fool. This person wants to begin again, but they don't have a lot to offer, because they've spent a lot of their time in the trenches, is what I want to say. This person's been to something that feels to them like war, but they've come out of it on the other side in victory. And now they want to offer you a little bit more. I think that the uh, attraction you two have for one another is already on point. This person is incredibly attracted to you, for sure. And... Um, Just listening. Yeah, I feel someone, if you if you are someone who has fire in your chart, I feel like somebody is going to offer you something here. Something that you're going to like, something that's going to give you, make you feel like you're getting justified in the time that you've been spending waiting for this person to close their chapter. I feel like um, justice comes when this person starts to show you, openly show you um, a little bit more affection. This person has gone through a recent ending. It's probably that. It feels like they, they, it was, it, it could be a legal thing for them. But it feels like, it feels like they're going to offer you something small. Even though they know you're the Queen of Wands. They're really attracted to you. And it feels as though they just want to have balance between you and them. In the meantime, I feel like they're, this person has been really hurt and that's why they're coming to you and asking for balance with you. I think this person wants you to know how they feel about you because I think that they've been hurt in love before. Yeah. And they've chosen you. So I think they're going to tell you that they've chosen you and they want to talk about that. Pisces, I feel like um, this person that you've been disconnected from for a while is the person who is your wish fulfillment. It is the emperor. The emperor is coming back round again. If you've been seeing a lot of fours, I said this in another reading, if you've been seeing a lot of fours, I feel like the emperor is the person that's coming around for you. If the judgment card tells me that something you thought was never going to happen is about to happen and it's about to make you very happy. And it's with this person that you've manifested that you feel disconnected from. They're coming in to tell you. Yeah, they want to transform this. The Six of Cups is in the reverse because I feel as though this person wants to, they don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> I feel like that this opportunity has been coming for so long, Knight of Pentacles, that this person is just ready to move move towards you. They don't care if they're juggling or what they have to juggle. I feel like they're standing their ground at the Two of Wands and they're, they're holding a cup. They're waiting there at the Two of Wands for you to come with them. They want the adventure with you. The Knight of Cups is here. Yeah. All right, Pisces, I'm going to let it go from here. Please watch. I promise you, you have a few readings that are coming this week. So um, I will do that. I will put out the regular uh, Pisces Cancer video together. Um, and then I'll put out one for you and one for Cancer. So thank you so much for coming here and for watching. If you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Go find the yellow dot. All the information you need is there. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. I'm up for now. Bye-bye.